Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I have a brand new video for you today. Today I thought I would show you how to use big eye beading needles. These are great if you have trouble threading your needle or if you want to use um, bigger stringing materials, maybe with some beads that are hard to get those materials through. So this can be a great way to do that. So let me show you how. So as you can see, big eye needles look just like regular needles on the surface, but usually the entire body of the needle is split so you can open it and easily add any thread or string material of your choice. Like I said at the beginning, you can use big eye needles to easily add regular beading thread like this fire line that I have here. Um, and it just makes it easier to thread your needle um, if you have if you struggle with adding thread to a small eye on a needle, you can definitely use big eye needles to make your life a little bit easier. You can also use your big eye beading needle to make it easier to add um, ribbons or strings that aren't easy to get through a stringing hole on easily. Um, so what you're going to do, this ribbon will fit through the stringing hole of this bead, but it's hard to get through because the end, you know, isn't pointy or stiff enough to make it through on its own. You can try folding it, but you can see like there's a little bit of like fraying happening. So it's actually just easier to add the ribbon to your big eye beading needle. So I'm just going to put it on there like that bring the needle through my bead and pull through. It makes it so much easier. So if you're working with a delicate or wider stringy material that doesn't fit through the stringing hole as easily, but you know it can get through there, you can use a big eye needle like this. This works great also um, for yarn um, when you're making like a knit project and you need to add the yarn back in, weave it in and secure the ends of the yarn. Big eye beading needle is going to work great to pick up that yarn and easily weave it back through because again that yarn um, can't fit through a normal eye needle um, and it's not stiff enough to work through on its own so that's where the big eye needle shines. One thing to note too is that big eye needles are pointed on each end and since the split is all the way through the needle you can move your thread from one end to the other based on your needs. So that's very important to keep in mind too, especially when weaving with these, both ends are pointed. It can be very helpful when you're running out of thread and you need that, just that extra length to move your thread down, um, but it's also something you wanna keep in mind when you're working with them. So those are the basics for how to use a big eye beading needle like this one. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, they're available in packs like this one, and we do have long and short lengths available for whatever your beading needs may be. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment, and as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this are out. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.